Hey, welcome back. We're playing a game called The Lion Song, and it was free on Epic Games uh, just recently, uh, although this video might be out way in the future. <laughs> and uh, it looks like there's four episodes. I'm not sure how long it is. I thought it was going to be a short game, but from a little bit of research, it looks like each episode might an hour? I, I really have no idea how long to beat said the whole game main story would take two hours but then completionist would take 16 and a half or something like that and I don't understand how you jump from 2 to 16 I, I don't know but I guess the only way I'll find out is once I jump into it uh, the other thing is this is a different headset than I'm used to using so I apologize if it's not the best quality uh, my splitter for my normal headset kind of took a dive, so we are using this temporary one. Elk Train Station. I think this is more of like a point and click the game. Do you have enough socks? You need plenty of socks. It's very cold there. Mama, you packed the suitcase yourself. It's stuffed with socks. All aboard! All aboard for Vienna. Write your mother, won't you? Yay, Papa, I promise. You're such a liar, but I love you anyway. All aboard, last call for Vienna. Mama, let the boy go. Get in trouble if he's late. Dear boy, take care, take care. Sus? Yes, Mama and Papa, you take care too. Take care. Just left them on this very train. Vienna. Music. Musica. Musica. Oh, wait, I'm reading it wrong. So it's like Music Academy, which is kind of like, I guess, Music Academy, maybe? Oh. So. Arthur, where are you? you? Asked me to come to your office. Here I am, waiting. Last you talk about us? Uh. But you're so shy, Arthur. I begin. Don't be silly, Wilma. I keep hoping it'll happen. I never will. I'm glad you're here. I just had to see you. Sorry I'm late. Do you want to see me? Where have you been? I haven't been waiting long. Why'd you want to see me? Why did you want to see me, Professor? Please, call me Arthur. Do you want to see me? Well, to be quite honest, yes. Uh, performance at the salon. It was quite incredible. The guests could not believe their ears. They seemed to enjoy the music. I'm so glad. I think I'll just go with this one. Ah, yes. They seemed to enjoy the music. They want to hear more from you, Wilma. You need to keep up the momentum. How is the new composition coming along? It's more difficult than the others. I'm progressing. Um... I'm gonna click that one. I'm progressing. Music is so new. It entices challenges. I think no, I know that we are about to achieve something great here. Future of music. Arthur, I'm must build on the success of your performances. If we stop now, we'll squander this opportunity. We have to keep moving. Keep working. We have to establish your name. Well, I'm that is is it? I've started composing it, but... But? Arthur, I'm stuck. I'm horribly, horribly stuck. I don't know how to complete it. Wilma, don't say that. We've come so far. Everything we've worked for. I can't bear to let you down. I know what's wrong. It's the pressure. The Institute. Everyone clamoring for your attention, recognizing you on the street, and even more pressure from me. It is a city. We can't change that. It's not you. You said it yourself, it's momentum. Um, you said it yourself, it's momentum. Need to change, that's clear. Listen, I have a cabin in the mountains. We'll be able to work there. Done too much for me. Did you come with me? I, I don't want this professor and... I. To be fair, I don't know how old we are, but I don't want this weird relationship, so I'm not... No, I don't want to come with you. Um, you've done too much for me already. 
Nonsense. Teaching, guiding me, your help with the scholarship. Me time alone. Quiet. Quiet. Take care of things here. I can. I'm not asking, it's settled. The carriage will pick you up tomorrow. There are plenty of supplies at the cabin. Back lightly. You're not bringing your old violin, are you? Of course I am. Playing that old violin relaxes me. I'll have to walk the last part of the way. It's quite a hike. I'll manage. Well, I do think this is for the best. I'm completely alone, no distractions. Somewhere in the Alps. Chris? Just there. Just a little bit further. Just a few more steps. <sighs> Only arrived. Have you, though? Like, the cabin looks like it's way up there. It's at Arthur's cabin. Oh, Arthur, I hope so much that you're right. And inspiration is waiting for me down there. Must be the cabin at last. The inspiration waits for me down there. Mountains. Spectacular view. The clouds hang over the mountains. It's as if they are waiting for something. The wind is growing stronger. It'll be long until the storm is here. Better hurry. Uh, path. This path leads from up here to Arthur's cabin. Is that it? Looks like a storm is brewing. I might just make it before the rain. Episode 1, Silence. I made it just before the rain. It'll stop soon. It's exhausting. Hey, okay, Wilma, it's time to unpack your bag. It's cool. Oh, there's it's like a bunch of books. It started to rain. The storm continued. Lamp casts a dim light. Flame dances highly to and fro and flares up briefly before subsiding. Despite its battered appearance, it still has the most beautiful tone. Materials are still in my luggage. I'm exhausted. There should be something to eat in my bag. I'm starving. There should be a sandwich in here somewhere. Stick paper? I can't eat that. Ah, here it is. Oh, there. Where's it from? It says, Open upon arrival. Dear Wilma. I hope you've had a trouble-free journey. I'm sure you have started writing already, inspired by the beautiful surrounding. However, I have a confession to make. Perhaps he has written something about us? Before your departure, I started to organize a concert at the Music... Music... Varian in Vienna. I was able to convince a few illustrious colleagues to offer their works. I had to call in many favors, but Mr. Schoenberg, Mr. Berg, and Mr. Mahler have all agreed to participate. It will be a glorious evening. Your composition will be the centerpiece, the grand finale. Imagine it. I understand that this is all very abrupt. That I apologize, but now is your time. Musicians start rehearsal next week. The piece must be ready by then. In anticipation of your return, Arthur concert. One week? How oh, is this less pressure? Arthur, how could you? The storm is almost here. How am I supposed to write something if I can't go outside? I'm trapped here, with a storm outside, and within me, silence. Oh, reason I make a telephone call. This book is full of formulas. Describe the phenomenon of transformations. Wow. Je t'aime Excuse me? Oh, German. Yes. Um. Who is this? I, um. Well, my name is Leos. Still there? Yes. Amazing. I wonder if. Close by? How are you? Uh. I don't 
wonder who this guy is. Not say. I keep this to myself. Different country? Maybe even on a different continent? I'm far away. Yes, I assure you, I'm a long way away. Haha, <laughs> I never would have dreamed of this. I was told you can speak over long distances. To actually hear a voice. It's amazing. Talk to my niece, Nicole. What? What was what? The noise just now. <laughs> Wasn't that you? <laughs> I hear this noise every day. Guests come to me with empty bellies. Are you in Keeper Leos? I am. Best dumplings in all of Bohemia. When they're fresh out of the pot. Rich hearty sauce. You cut into one and the steam comes out. Um. Sounds delicious. They are delicious. You have to come by one day so I can cook some for you. Why are we having this conversation? This is very strange. Wish I had some here right now. Of course you wish that. Ho oh, ho ho. I apologize. It sounds like you are very hungry. It was a pleasure talking to you, madam. Huh? Sorry? Where are my manners? I didn't even ask your name. Name? You tell me your name? Um... I'd, I'd rather not understand. Well, madam, it was a pleasure undertaking with you. My very first talk on this machine. Pleasure's all mine, Leos. Even though you wouldn't tell me your name. You're torturing me now, madam. Say, do you think we could talk again sometime soon? This is weird. I don't like this. They gave me a number. 1255. Perhaps I will call sometime. I hope so. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay. Time for my sandwich. Ew, I hate that. Stop, don't make those noises. It may not be a dumpling, but it has but it tastes delicious. I'm so tired. It was just so much for my first day. Oh. <laughs> you couldn't go to like a bed? Outside behind the buildings, the sun is rising. Side Wilma, someone stirs. Ew, wait, what? Whoa! Oh, whoa? I didn't know this was an oh, whoa game. Ah, so soft. Old people noises. Hey, are you awake? Maybe. Oh, you. Wait. Get here. I was just. I have to leave. Stay a little longer. With me? Really have to go. Expected at the institute. It's your institute. Look, I didn't want this situation to happen if it was by choice, but since this just happened on its own, I'm just gonna go with it. Yes, and you are my student. We should not be together in the first place. Is that what we are? Together? Some church bells chime the hour. Six o'clock. Already late. So urgent. Today I'm getting Schomburg's contribution. I have to be there. It'll be marvelous. We should talk. Imagine the looks on their faces when your song is played. Doing. Imagine where you could be in a year. Stop, you're hurting me. Future of music. Ow. Arthur. No. Day two. It's just a dream. I guess maybe the reason why this game is main story two hours completionist like 16 is because I get maybe the story changes if you choose different options. Just a dream. Arthur, I was finally with you, but I too have to write this composition. But how do I start? Well, I'll concentrate. I've done this before. Anything could be an inspiration. Anything could be an inspiration. My favorite poem is in here. Panther by Rena Maria Rowe. His gaze against the sweeping of bars. It's grown so weary it can hold no more. To him, 
seem to be a thousand bars, and behind those thousand bars, no worm. A dark, strong beast trapped in a cage, the sound of a scheduled, secluded piano behind its silence. several noises. I can't. Heady booming. Blood-curdling squealing. Relentless creaking. I can block it out. The valley of the storm rages. With all this howling wind and pounding rain, how can I concentrate? Perhaps I can block out the noise of the storm? I don't like that sound. The storm booms overhead. The wind and the wind are so loud. I'm glad I don't have to be out there. Is kind of loud. The path I came here by it leads to a mountain pass. Can't tell from here where the telephone lines go. This drop of water falls from so far above, forming quietly the droplet whooshes downwards, falling at last to earth, thundering on leaves, grass, stones from there to my ears. The sound blurs and fades away. Suddenly it's quieter. The mountains loom high above me. Vienna is somewhere beyond the mountains. Are there? Key flowers. Porch. Uh, did I already have this thick forest? I can't remember I didn't get lost. Alright, so... Picked everything out here, maybe? shaking the cabin makes it sway. The squeaking noise gets under my skin. It's back again. It's audible even when it isn't. I'll lock it out. I know I can. It slowly fades, blurs, dissolves, and it's gone. Split second. Melody can be heard. Just instantly. Damn it. Still have enough paper, but soon it will be all used up. Melodies are strange. A pile of letters addressed to Arthur. Should I read them? Read congratulations. My dear Professor Cabin, I'd like to congratulate you. I had the honor to listen to a minor concert. Student Wilma Dorfel was on recently. Many of the audience seemed bewildered at first, whom, excuse my expression, have been too. There have been so many child prodigies, but this was different. You, as this young composer's music played, I couldn't quite believe my ears, but soon the strength of her music became clear to all, but at the same time enlightenment, as did mine. Heartiest congratulations, you must be very proud. I've transformed this rough diamond into a brilliant gem. I will be eager to hear her next composition. Until then, be so kind as to send my best regards to your young artist, your friend Gustav. Gustav Holst? It's your cabin. I hope you may recall the stimulating discussion we had recently in the salon. My name is Gretelon Onegda, and I am a frequent visitor there. It's a mistake for me. Some mistake me for a critic, I'm not. But I would describe myself rather as an in intermediary. I unite creative minds, promote exchange of ideas in the culinary accelerating time. Like many, I'm a great admirer of your early work. I've been following your initiatives regarding modern music. The young student who performs today is a most promising talent. I hope we could continue our con Blah, words. <laughs> I hoped we could continue our discussions at your convenience, of course. There's an anticipation. Talon Zach, painter. Dear Arthur, I am writing to you in the knowledge that, like me, you are a great admirer of every kind of art. Sadly, I know you missed a recent exhibition in the salon. The artist was a young man named Franz Market. His paintings are very special. Portraits, but none like you will ever have seen. They somehow capture every facet of a person. I saw them, I immediately thought of you. Luckily, I've managed to acquire one or two of his works. I'd like you to see them and tell me your opinion. To be honest, they remind me of the new music you are pursuing. They are erotic in a way very special. Way, ugh, words, wow, this is hard. And they are very, they are erotic in a very special way. 
male and female both. I would be very interested to know what you think. Girlfriend RM. No sketches here. Let's be in Vienna. So I've read congratulations already, but I'll read more later. I can't melodies in this din. Can't it was creaking. Rattles the cabin. Beam creaks. Fibers in the wood bend and snap. His blurs fades away. Start writing. So we answer it. I am. Adam? It's me, Leos. Remember me, yes? Yes, of course. Why are you calling? Well, to be honest, to hear your voice again. Last time we talked about me, my niece, about my dumplings. I never asked about you. Me? Uh, your niece? Cool, yes. Ten years ago, my sister and her husband asked me to look after her. I travel much of the year. I do not believe she is strong enough to join them. I tried to look after her, but... Did she know what happened? I just couldn't manage. I love her. We are, were, very close. In and taking care of her? I couldn't do both at the same time. So I sent her back to her parents in Vienna. Things are better this way. Um. Looks after her while her parents travel. A governess, I think. A certain Frau Schmoll. I don't know her. Better for her? Sure, I like to think so, yes. Miss Nicole. Yes, she's like a daughter to me. Well, Nicole, instead of calling me, I literally don't know you. That's the very reason why I got this machine. And well, you picked up, but I'm not completely sure it's a good idea. You should do it. Think so? If you don't, you might regret it. I, every hour, every minute, second that passes, keeping your feelings from someone you love is something you may regret later. Maybe I'll do it. Maybe I can get up to her somehow. Enough about me. What about you? Do you have family? What's your profession? My profession? Um, say, a music. A composer? Yeah, I study composition. The songs I would know? Not really, no. I've just started to make a name in Vienna. What are you doing in the mountains? I'm trying to find my muse. She's hiding from me, wasting my time. Mentor said, Wilma, you'll find inspiration there. So your name is Wilma. <laughs> oh, dang it. And is it working? There's a storm. It's raining. I feel trapped. She hears a melody. Hey, what's that? What? I, I thought I, I I had heard something. Heard something just now? I did. Did you hear? I don't understand. It, can you do that again? D do what again? Uh... I guess keep talking? Uh, fine, I am talking to you, Wilma. I will try to keep going, but I don't know what to talk about, so should I perhaps tell you about my dumplings again? I told you something about me, my profession. Yes, you are a musician. Yes, that's it. That is it. What? Melody, I can hear a melody. I need self-verification. Tell me I'm a musician. Quick, write it down. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> right. Let's disappear. Oh, I nearly had it. I had to give the melody some time quiet, and suddenly she hears the sound of his voice again. Yos, I can barely keep my eyes open. I pass out at this desk again. <laughs> Instead of, you know, sleeping in a bed, I'm gonna get back problems. Why am I in a well? It's cold. What? Water 
is rising. Eat the mud grips them like dead hands. I gotta get out of here. Uh, hello? Is somebody down there? Yes, sir. Help! Anyone down there? Yes, down here. Rain is too loud. I can't hear you. Get me out of here. Can you climb? No. My feet are in the mud. Oh, the water is rising. How did you get down there? I must have fallen. Don't panic. Difficult problem. The water is rising. Please do something. The stones are slippery. I don't want to fall in. Wait. Here. Vilma. I'll try and get help. Don't go! I can't hear you! I will try to find help. Uh, Leos? I don't know why I said Leos. He's like the most irrelevant person. <laughs> the storm has gotten worse. Okay, three. Just a dream. This is all too much. If only I could leave. No. I must finish this piece. I owe it to everybody. The melody right on the tip of my brain. Wilma, concentrate. Please. Something else. This is coming from in there. Let's find a way to get in there. They have hidden a key. Should take a look at the flower pot outside? Oh. Interesting. Why would they hide a key to a little clock on, in a flower on the porch? It's a key. Why they would do that, but okay. It's a pocket watch. Got it. Ticks of the old watch shatter in her imagination. Fragments dissolve and gradually fade to silence. See, the sonic framework of the song is still missing. Still have to find a melody. I haven't written a note today. This drawer, dusty, but empty. The drawer is locked. Anything from your bag? Examine, examine closely. Violin. All of its scratches, nicks, and cracks. I got it from my father back then. Otto always tried to steal it. I hope Otto and Mama and Papa are doing well. Of course, I will just play. As it repeats itself, motifs, melodies, and rhythms, which Wilma has played many times before. Never really surprising. It's boring. Tones seem to linger long after. Remainder of all the other times she's played, never written harmonies. Their time is now. Hmm. Breaks the harmony down. So I make a phone call. Moments of change. A state that is to be preserved during a transformation can be recovered by applying another transformation. The transformations over the course of a piece of music. Can one prolong an emotion through variation? Variation from a fast tempo to a slow tempo. Maybe if I... Yes. That's wonderful. Okay. Diversity. Arthur writes here about a phenomenon he calls tonal diversity. By building certain relationships between the notes, the same note can suddenly sound quite different when heard again. It seems as if, as if Arthur is talking to her directly. His writing is so clear, so similar to the way he speaks. She imagines him lecturing to his students pauses not once but many times turns to her and smiles when the focus is on his intentional unhurried action the pleasurable surprise every time it happens his lovely smile doctor's pause are never exactly when you would expect them you can feel each one coming you don't know when but you know it'll come he lays it stretches it out until finally when i'm almost giving up waiting he pauses turns and smiles still weird i don't agree with this. It's still very weird. He tries to incorporate these pauses in the piece. No, he 
keep my eyes open. Maybe I should fall asleep. But I don't have enough time. Uh, try to stay awake. No time. Just try to stay awake. Eyelids become heavier and heavier. Ease of fatigue, the notes in our music become a blur. Apparently, new ones emerge. <laughs> Passed out. Does this cabin have a bed? <laughs> Does this cabin have a bed? I'm not sure. So what I've gathered from her, I I would say like she wants to be with Arthur. I don't really know much about parents and like it's not that she doesn't want to be successful, but she's stressed out about it. That's more like it. At last we're talking about what you want. Do you really think that you could be with him? Not that I can try. The music will change his mind. What does it matter? I'm gonna do this one. Maybe not that I can try. Good. Well, you had better get back to work then. You know, it deserves to hear your music. Storm, it's here. Oh, no, no. This noise is in my head. I cannot let my fears control me. Maybe I can block them out? I have to try. Maybe I won't be able to hear the music anymore? Uh, I want to block out the voices. Stop it! This has become louder. Stop it! They're when the voices fall silent. Stop it! I can do this! As the voices fade, she has a sudden realization. Her heart beats steadily. She feels the air filling her lungs, the oxygen in her blood, warmth in her fingertips. An inconstant, ephemeral rhythm. Yes. Yeah, that's good. letters already. They're still locked. Still doesn't need anything from the bag. Melody's hiding. What if he's there? Leo's. What's the number he told me? I think it was 1522. That's not it. Wait. Is it not? Is it 5521? 55? There we go. <laughs> I was like, I knew there was a double of a number somewhere. <laughs> please be there, please be there, please be there. Hello? Goodness, Leos, you're there. Is that you? God, I'm so glad you're there. Come down, come down. What is it? It's all too much. Is that under? Real thunder this time, not my stomach. The storm's here. I'm so afraid. Here. Uh, don't, don't worry. It'll be alright. Just, just focus on my voice. Yes. yes. Hear me? You're definitely not whispering. You're right, I'm yelling. What does my voice sound like? Um. Not the whisper at the top of the well. Nope. I had a dream. I was drowning in a well. Someone came and then they ran away. <laughs> not me. I would have helped you. That wasn't my father either. He wouldn't abandon me. It's fine. God, it was. So, oh, that's meta. Me, I was running away from myself. I was running away from my composition. It was an important dream. What's that doctor's name in Vienna? Right? Exactly. You would approve of your interpretation, I think, yes? Yeah. Remember how you talked to me? Talked me into calling Nicole? 
What did you do? I called her. I did it. What did she say? She was overjoyed. She said that I should visit her as soon as possible. I couldn't believe it. I'm glad. I simply had to call her. The silence that followed our last call. As soon as your voice was gone, I was reminded of how lonely I really am. Am I still feeling lonely? Not anymore. Not when I'm talking to you. I'm glad that I can talk to you. It's a great invention, the telephone. I still think it's weird. Like, I... Did this happen? Like, when the telephone was first invented? Were people just kind of like, Hey, I'm just going to put in a random combination of numbers and see who I talk to, and then they get married. <laughs> Is that how things used to work back then? <laughs> Are you still there? I'm still here. I'm too big. Just listening to you breathe. Ew, that's weird. I'm writing music. About that storm. I'm still here, too. It disturbs you? No. Wonderful. I can finish the song now. It is a song of courage. Being yourself and facing the shadows. I will play it for you on my violin. No, I'm not done, but soon. Till soon, then farewell. Farewell, my friend. The composition is developing well. There are already several great passages, but still a lot to write. So, still nothing in the bag. These are still either empty or locked. The old violin, despite its battered appearance, it still has the most beautiful tone. So we've already done that. I guess I can look at this again. Flame flares up from time to time, struggling for air, a flickering, flaring rhythm for the composition. Yeah, that's good. Did it. Got another one. That was the last sheet of music paper. There's still something left to write. Finale. There has to be some space for a few notes. Oh. Something to write on. Well, isn't there, like, uh, what's that? There were, like, Arthur have a blank staff paper. I thought he did. And the back of Arthur's composition is clean. Paper. I'm sorry, Arthur. Just looking at her music lifts her mood. This is my best work so far. Melodies flow through her mind while the rain falls on the cabin. Dedication. Um, I'm gonna say for my friend Leos. For Leos. Good friend in difficult times, best listener from Vienna to Kumau. May he listen to the song, his song, someday. Good friend in hard times. So this is my song. Circle. We get a great hall of the music very The auditorium is packed. Compositions by Schoenberg, Mahler, and the others have really already been played. The mood is tense and expectant. Imagine, hold on. Imagine being so good that you're the finale after Schoenberg and Mahler. <laughs> Imagine. Seems as if the whole city of Vienna is here. Now is not the time to be nervous. I am so sounds and melodies free themselves from the instruments. Roll in a flaming dance above the audience. Pictures of familiar faces and places. far away of a sudden muffled as if heard through falling snow. Burning with a desire to break free. I wonder if the music would change depending on the other choices I made. Persisting yet changing from moment to moment.
peaceful, like a warm voice from far away. It's nice though. I like the music. Leading to a sense of hope for some day. <laughs> Clap. Beautiful. Clap, clap, clap. Such a lovely melody. Ah! As the curtain falls, Rumble leaves the stage. Is it seen for the rest of the evening? Next episode of The Lion Song. dead people. <laughs> so the next episode's about a painter, I think? Interesting. Is this like the reception? What is, what is happening? Sound effects and music. Additional games. Oh! Oh wait, these are credits. Wait, that's cool. Oh wait, this is adorable. Aww. Oh wait, that's so cool! I like it. Exit episode. That's so cool! Attention. Decisions might not reflect the latest global data. Make sure that you're connected to the internet. Ah, how do I not have internet connection? But whatever. Oh, my decision. So... 6% of people decided to keep Wilma's name from Leo's. I just... I don't know. Maybe I'm like antisocial and I have anxiety. So part of me is like, if some random person called me on the phone, I'm not gonna like tell them a bunch of information about me. I'm not gonna be like, yeah, this is my name, this is where I am, this is my profession. Like, that's just weird. It's weird. Um, 14% also said they want to be with Arthur. Well, I found it weird. I found it like a weird relationship thing, but she felt like, like, it seemed like she wanted it. So, I said, deciding again, you change choices in the past and discover new connections and achievement. Your game progress will be unaffected. So... You just, uh, you pretty much just, you can play it again. So you can restart it and do it again. That's interesting. But for my, my thought on, um, decision making games, even though this is a super short decision impacted game, I'm somebody who, when I play a choice based game, whatever my choice was, whether it was a good choice or a bad choice, uh, I usually just stick with. I'm not someone who typically goes back and to fix my mistakes. I've played like until dawn and you get like your favorite character killed and it's like no I just want to go back and like make a different choice but it's like well I made that choice and you kind of have to just own up to it. So this this game isn't as involved as other choice based games that I've played. But I'm probably not going to redo it because I think whatever the story ends up being is what it should stay. And that's just my thought on choice-based games. So next time, we'll do episode two. I think these are going to be on the shorter side. I don't think this is going to be some 16-hour long process because I'm not going to go through all the choices. So whatever the first run is, is going to be what it is. And we will go and see what the uh, an anthology, episode two, I guess it's about a painter. We'll see what that episode is uh, next time. So see you then hopefully you like this game it's nice short sweet um down to the point so i like it so far i think it's cute so i'll see you next time bye, -bye.